many of us can tend to overcommit to um, programs or learning. Uh, we start maybe in the beginning of the year with a particular program. Maybe it's even a one year commitment or something like that. And we are so excited and we commit. Uh, and maybe there's a small team of people, you know, if, if some programs have that, um, or can accountability buddy, and you commit to say, yes, I will do this. I will do this many things, you know, this frequently. And, and then sometime in during the year, uh, someone else, you know, invites us to a program. Oh my gosh, this is, this is what I need. This is so important. And so we commit to that as well. Um, now, ideally, before we commit to a program, we clarify exactly what the commitments are and then map that to our existing uh, availability and say, well, that's my existing availability. And this is what the program is, is asking. Is it realistic? Or if not, then any good program will come back around. <laughs> I promise you <laughs> the truth. Any good program will come back around. And of course, as a good marketer or, uh, or maybe more of an evil marketer, they will say, this program will never be taught again. This program will never be uh, offered in this way ever again. And, and they, could, they could always be, technically speaking, this program will never be offered this exact way again, but next time I'm sure it'll tweak it. So I wasn't technically lying. Uh, I was just being an evil marketer um, and creating FOMO, you know, fear of missing out. So uh, this, is, this is why I'm like, yeah, I, whatever you see from me, don't, don't, you know, don't sign up for it if you're overcommitted. Because if, if it's a good thing I'm teaching, I promise you, I will teach it again. I promise you, you know, as long as I'm alive, it'll come back around. So you can not sign up for my programs. Um, I, I will fall on my own sword for the sake of all the other evil marketers out there. So, um, uh, and you could sign up for their evil programs. No, uh, <laughs> no. So, so, but if we have already signed up, let's say uh, we went ahead and did it and then we realized, oh my gosh, this program that I've just signed up for is requiring all these things of me or um, everyone else seems to be doing these commitments. Then, then, the, then the question is, how can we unify our commitments so that it is meeting both programs or um, both teams or commitments. So for example, uh, let's say you commit it in one program to you know, post content three days a week or something like that. And then in the second program, you commit it to um, making invitations to you know, 10 people a week or something like that, okay? Well then, could you somehow unify those two? Um, <laughs> the way I like to unify is say, well, if I post if I post twice a week and then one thing I post a week is a call to action invitation, I'm technically inviting 100 people <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> so, so uh, you know, I could maybe unify it that way. Uh, you know, if I have an audience of 100, if I have 100 Facebook friends and I make a call to action once a week, I'm technically inviting 100 people. Well, maybe at least 10 people will see it. So you could say that I'm inviting those people. So anyway, I, I will try to find ways to unify my commitments so that they're actually aligned. Um, and, you know, if, if it cannot be, you can always renegotiate your commitments. It's always an option. Um, and the rene so like the option, of course, is to either rene unify the commitments, renegotiate the, well, you know, first option, ideally, you have so much space in your calendar that you schedule everything in so that you are fulfilling all commitments. That's usually not the case. Second option, you unify the commitments as much as you can. Third option, you renegotiate the commitment. Um, usually you renegotiate the commitment from the, uh, the, the one that's been longer because um, it's you know, understandable to renegotiate something. Or if you can renegotiate something of some, that's just that you just committed to, that's that's a very powerful stance to take and you know that's that's um, good practice if, if needed so renegotiation it's important to practice it otherwise um, you only have the fourth option which is to um, to not make your commitment and you know that doesn't feel good um, it's doesn't support your integrity and your reputation in front of others so I think renegotiation is really what most of us need to practice and say, hey, you know what? I did commit to this in the beginning and I didn't expect that this would happen. And I'm, you know, instead of posting three times a week, like I committed to you all, I'm gonna be posting 
uh, only twice a week or only once a week. And the reason is, you know, you, you, when you negotiate a commitment, do your best to give a reason because then the other person understands that it's not just because you don't feel like doing it. It's like, no, the reason is because I've also committed over here to these other, to this other team that I would do 10 invitations per week. And in fact, um, I think that that is going to support, I think these two commitments could support each other because they're synergistic to my business. And uh, so, you know, so I think, I think those are, <laughs> those are the options and I hope, I hope this helps.